Hello, gorgeous earthlings. It is I, Christina, here at Fit and Bendy Studios with a yummy, delicious, gentle warm up for the spine. So, this is great if you have any kind of back pain or you just feel a little stiff and tight. We're going to move all the different ways that the spine is capable of and wake up all those muscles. And it's all done standing, and all you need is a table. So, let's get going. <laughs> We're gonna start with both hands on the table in front of us. And you want the table to be the right height for you so that you're a little leaned over and you can put some weight into your arms. From here, my knees are slightly bent, about hip width apart, and I'm just gonna focus my gaze on a spot out in front of me. And I'm gonna to try to really not move my head at all. I'm gonna inhale and as I inhale, I'm engaging my back muscles, lifting my chest up towards my chin, not moving my head at all. And then as I exhale, I'm dropping my chest away from my chin, tucking my pelvis under and trying to bring my belly button up towards the ceiling. The whole time I've got some weight in my hands and that's just to take a little bit of the pressure off of my spine of trying to hold itself up straight also bending the knees a little bit here is going to help you get more mobilization through the lower back and the pelvis. Let's really tie this movement to the breath. So this is your inhale. You wanna think like you're filling up your lungs with helium and they're lifting, lifting, lifting up towards your chin. And then on that exhale, you're using the exhale to drop the chest down, pull your belly muscles in, pull your side waist in, tuck your pelvis under and curl that spine. Let's Let's do one more in each direction. This should feel pretty yummy and exploratory. We're just trying to get into the spine, feel where it feels tight, feel where it needs extra work and love. This is just our nice little warm up. And then we're just gonna come back to center and now we're gonna do our happy little tail wag. So I'm gonna bring my hips over to the left and turn my head like I'm trying to look at my imaginary fluffy tail. And then I'm going to go the other direction. My hips go to the right and I look to the right. And for this one, I'm letting everything move a little bit more. So I'm shifting my weight from one foot to the other. My shoulders are moving a little bit. My neck is moving a little bit. And I'm trying to feel the muscles in my side waist. So as I go to the left, I'm squeezing the muscles in the left side of my waist. And as I go to the right, I'm squeezing the muscles in the right side of my waist. And I'm feeling how those muscles control my spine and my pelvis. And again, this should feel nice and gentle and lovely and relaxing. And coming back to center. Now we're gonna put all that together into a circle. So I'm going to start with again, fixing my gaze out in front of me, bringing my chest forward, my butt out. And now my ribs are gonna go to the right, then back up to the ceiling. I'm coming into that deep tuck. And then my ribs go to the left and repeat. So again, I'm kind of letting this be big and juicy, keeping that weight in the hands here soft knees. I'm letting my head be a little bit more responsive here, a little bit more movement. The main thing is that you want to be exploring all of the muscles in your torso. So your back muscles, your side muscles, your front muscles, and your other side muscles. Let's go ahead and switch directions. So now I'm gonna bring my ribs left and then up towards the ceiling. I'm trying to touch my mid back to the ceiling and then to the right and down towards the floor. And I'm noticing if there are any spots in my spine that feel crunchy or tight. And this is a great thing to do just periodically throughout your day, especially if you've been sitting or standing still for a long time. And you just wanna remember that your spine is built to move. You wanna get that movement feeling good and feeling juicy. All right, let's come on out of that, move it around. Now we're going to take these different sections of the spine and try to feel them separately. So we've got our lower back, our lumbar spine, our upper back, our thoracic spine, and then the neck, the cervical spine. We're going to try to move each of them alone. Let's start with the lower back. 
So now I'm fixing my gaze out in front of me, no movement in the head, also no movement in the chest. So this distance between my chin and my chest is not going to change. And then as I inhale with my knees bent, I'm going to bring my butt back behind me. I'm gonna squeeze the muscle in the lowest part of my back, right above my tailbone. And then on the exhale, I'm gonna lift with my pelvic floor, feel my lowest abdominal muscles, bringing my pubic bone up and forward. And I'm gonna go back and forth between these two pelvic positions. But what I'm trying to do is not move anything at all from the ribs up. And I'm only getting as much movement as I can get in my lower back without the upper back or the neck moving at all. Still have that weight forward in my hands, taking some of the pressure off of my back. So much easier to do this with the knees a little bit bent. So remember to bend your knees, especially for this lower part of the back. Notice that I'm not shifting my weight a lot back and forward, right? My weight, I can feel my weight on my feet. It's not moving stays right in the center. So it's really just the pelvis tucking and arching, not moving forward and back. Good, so that's the lower part of the back. Let's get the upper part of the back. So now I'm gonna put my pelvis in a neutral position, which means it's not arched or tucked. And as I inhale, I'm gonna press my hands down and try to lift my chest up towards my chin as high as I can go without arching my back, my lower back. And then I'm gonna drop it down and away. Now for me and for the vast majority of humans, this middle part of the spine, the, the upper back, is going to be the least mobile because you've got all those ribs attaching and you've got your shoulder blades there and you've got your heart and lungs on the inside. It's just less mobile for most of us. So don't worry if it doesn't move quite as much. Just be careful to make sure that you're not moving your head and that you're not doing this from your shoulders, right? If I was doing this from my shoulders, it would look like this, my shoulders moving forward and back. If I take a little peek down, my shoulders shouldn't be moving at all. I'm moving my rib cage, cage in front of my shoulders and then I'm moving it behind my shoulders, but the shoulders themselves aren't moving. Go ahead and do one more inhale here and exhale. And we are going to end with the neck. And for the neck, I like to take a little step further back and just lean for a little further forward. And that's gonna make gravity pull a little less on the neck. So it makes this neck mobilization a little easier. Soft elbows, the rest of my spine is in neutral. And as I inhale, I'm gonna think about lifting my chin up towards the ceiling. And as I exhale, I'm gonna drop it down towards my chest. Now it's very important that I not allow the chest to drop here. If my chest is dropped and I try to lift my head, I'm gonna get that little crunch in my neck. So I'm trying to keep this nice lifted spine the entire time so that when I lift my chin to the ceiling, I feel like I actually get a stretch through the front of my throat, not just a crunch or a pinch in the back. And when I drop my chin down to my chest, I'm trying to create a stretch in the back of the neck, right up to the base of the skull, and a little bit of engagement through the front of the throat. And again, I'm trying to keep the rest of my spine really nice and still here. So my neck is moving all on its own. And doing it leaning forward like this, a little weight into the hands is gonna help if you have a traditionally cranky neck. So feel free to put as much weight into the hands as possible. Let's do one more lifting up and dropping down. So now we felt all of the different segments of the spine and how they fit together. Let's do a little bit of twisting because that is another movement that the spine is very good at. I like to cross the arms over the chest here to make sure that my shoulders aren't trying to do the work. And we're gonna take the head and neck out of this one. We're gonna focus on the rest of the spine. So I'm gonna lock my hips in place and I'm gonna twist my body right and left. And as I twist my body, I'm trying to make sure that my head is just along for the ride. So I'm trying to not look over my shoulder any further than I naturally do. And I'm also trying to keep my hips nice and still in space. So if you want, you can put your hands down on your hip bones and make sure that those hip bones aren't moving at all. So all of the work here is happening in the waist. 
Another thing to look out for is to make sure that you're not using your back. So I don't want to get to a certain point and think like, oh, I could go further if I back bend here, right? We're really trying to find a pure twist, nothing but twist. Just using those muscles in the waist. Let's do one more each side. These oblique muscles are super important for our spinal health and mobility. So another thing the oblique muscles do is a side-side movement. If you put your hands right at the bottom of your rib cage, right where your ribs and your waist come together, and again, I like to have the knees bent for this, we're just gonna try to bring the ribs to the right side of the hips and to the left side of the hips. So my hips, again, are not moving. And the muscles that make this happen are right underneath your hands here. So as my ribs go to the right, I'm squeezing the muscles on the left. And as they go left, I'm squeezing the muscles on the right. So I can feel those sideways muscles controlling my spine, making this shearing action as the spine goes tilty, tilty, both directions. And it is normal for one side to feel a little easier than the other. So if that's you, spend a little extra time on the side of your spine that needs it. So for me, I always need to go a little bit extra this direction, but for you, it might be the other direction. And you wanna feel the way those muscles work to try to even out the spine once it gets to center. Now we're gonna take those muscles and go a little bit deeper into the stretch, going back to our table. So my feet here are gonna be a little bit wider and how far away from the table you wanna stand is gonna dictate how deep a stretch you want. So you can start a little closer and always scoot away further as you go. We're gonna take our right hand, put it on the table, and I'm gonna send my hips out to the left, keeping that right shoulder down, that right arm nice and anchored. And I wanna to try to start by feeling the stretch in the outside of this left hip, just bending and straightening that left knee a couple times. See if you can get a little deeper into that nice stretch on the outside there. And from here, I'm going to take my left ribs and lift them up into the air, externally rotate my left arm and come into a big, delicious, deep side bend. So I'm trying to make the longest line possible from the pinky finger of this left hand that's reaching out long to the pinky finger of that left foot. And my ribs are going up towards the ceiling. So those obliques on the left side, they are working and stretching at the same time. And I've got a big breath in here, should feel nice and delicious. Then I'm gonna take this left hand and I'm gonna drop it down. And I'm gonna put it next to my right hand. And I'm trying to keep my hips where they are as I use my hands to pull myself a little bit deeper into this twist. I'm looking down at the floor, I'm breathing, I'm feeling that stretch through my lower back, through the left side of my waist. Feels really good, hopefully it feels good for you too. Now, taking my weight back into my right hand, picking up my left hand, Big, long, long stretch. Maybe even you come down a little bit further now that we've stretched out those muscles and huge circle all the way back up. Oh, so much length on the left side. Perhaps we should create it on the right side too. So turn around with me. Left hand is on the table. Feet a little bit more than hip width apart. And I'm gonna shoot my hips out to the right. So now I've got most of my weight on my right foot. I'm gonna try to feel that stretch in the outside of the right hip. Little bend and straighten in that right knee. See if you can feel that nice opening on the right side. And then I'm thinking about this side of my rib cage lifting up towards the ceiling. It's like I'm trying to make a half moon shape with this side of my body. Externally rotate that right arm and I'm into my big, deep, delicious side bend. I'm thinking about that right arm reaching out Ribs lifting up, foot pressing down. Big breath here. You wanna make sure that you can breathe. Very important to breathe throughout all of these exercises. If you find that you're holding your breath, try to make the exercise a little easier until you can breathe again. Now I'm gonna bring that right hand down next to my left hand. This is really one of my favorite spinal stretches. You can feel deep, deep stretch, hopefully from the lower back all the way wrapping around through the waist up into the rib cage. And I can use my arms here to kind of pull myself a little deeper into that twist. One more breath here. And then I'm getting nice and solid in that left hand, picking up my right hand. Now I'm in a bit of a deeper side bend because I've really loosened up those muscles and giant circle up and out. All right. So we have really gotten into a lot of the different things that the spine is capable of. And now we're gonna to try to integrate it into some full spinal extension and flexion, including the neck, but we wanna support the neck. So what we're gonna do 
is get our table out of the way. We don't need it for this one. And feet are going to be hip width apart, knees slightly bent to start. And I'm going to take both hands and I'm going to interlace them behind my head. I'm making a nice little basket for my head. And I'm putting my thumbs right at the base of my skull. And I'm going to press my head slightly back into my hands as my hands press forward into my head. And immediately my neck muscles are on. They're supporting my head. My head's in a good alignment. If you do a couple of pulses back with your elbows, you can feel your upper back muscles working too. So now everything in my upper body is nice and supported. This is my starting point. Keeping the knees soft on the inhale, I'm going to start to lift my chest and my chin and my butt towards the ceiling. So my whole back body is engaged and working to open up the front body. And then as I exhale, I'm going to straighten my knees out. I'm going to tuck my pelvis, trying to find a stretch through the front of the hips. I'm lifting my mid back up towards the ceiling. I am not pulling on my head. I'm pushing my head up into my hand. So my neck muscles are still working, not yanking on the neck. I repeat, not yanking on the neck. Inhale, switching. <sighs> Big inhale, chin and chest lift. Feel those back muscles working as the knees bend to bring your butt back behind you. Your ribs have turned into giant helium balloons, lifting you towards the ceiling. And exhale, I'm straightening my legs. I'm using a little bit of my downstairs butt to put into the front of my hips and get the hips opening up. I'm pressing my head up into my hands. I am curling in my spine. My belly button's trying to touch my spine. Let's do one more each direction because it's so damn good. Chest to the ceiling. Squeeze the back of the body. Giantest inhale. Head and hands pressed together to get those upper back muscles working. And tuck in the pelvis. Lift in the ribs. Long through the upper back. Elbows stay wide. Making that nice candy cane shape with your upper body. And then roll back up. Keep pressing the head into the hands until it's right over your shoulders and release. And now your spine is gooey and delicious and ready for anything. Please check back in with this workout. It's a great thing to do periodically throughout your day if you're feeling tight or stiff or sitting for a while. And if you want to know more about the segmentation of the spine, we do have a video on spinal anatomy linked below that's going to give you a lot more information on that subject. And so many other videos on spines and hips and shoulders. Oh my. All right, everybody. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe to keep up with everything fit and bendy. I love you all and happy bendings. Thank you.